What's up YouTube, it's a block down here. In this video, I'm going to take you guys through a 3 in 1 combo. In this combo, we'll be doing an L-sip pull up. Maybe a full L, quarter L, or half L. All depends on how I'm feeling. It's pretty cold right now. And then we're going to be doing some close grip tricep extensions. And then we're going to be doing some seated iron cross. The reason for these three movements, um, some days, you know, when I'm not I'm somewhat in the mood, I pick a few moves and I just do those moves for a day. So, let me show you the full L, the, the quarter, and the half. So this one would be the full and then this one would be the the half and then the quarter. I mean they feel pretty alright so we're gonna be doing that. tricep extensions so if you have a pair of rings the um before you come out like this the easier it will be the more you're back here the harder it gets so i'm gonna come right in the middle just feel it out you know and you want to get the hands under your head or your head under your hands So that's the three movements. And that's how you're gonna jump into it. Alright you guys, so let's start the first let's say set. Um I won't be counting my repetitions. You know the pull-ups mm, maybe five, six, six, seven, somewhere around that for now. Yeah, I won't be counting my repetitions at all. I'm just going to use this first set as a feel set. So you can have your hands on the bar like this. I hope you can see it from here. Sometimes my fingers under like this. Sometimes like this. So this way or this way, whatever way you prefer. You know. The close grip is a personal favorite. like it allows me to get a really uh, full range of motion so that I'm going really wide but you know it's up to you you can go wide if you want you can come in narrow or you can come in close all right so pick your grip you know work it you know all right so I'm gonna go with some um, quarter else and maybe pull else next round So with, with, with the quarter, I'm going to switch the legs back to back. So it's going to be like this and then the next one will be like this. Let's start the left one. Um, 
the singering is a preference of mine too, you know. And do a lot of single. Not single. And do a lot of close grip work. So you could put your hands on like this or you could wrap your fingers around or so. I'm gonna put my hands on top. See how this goes first. The next round. I can uh, next round I can go on there. attempt to do this specific workout you see iron cross can be very very difficult for beginners and even intermediates so what you can do is you come into position instead of going with two arms you go one at a time There's no bent in the elbow. The elbow stays straight. So it's a straight arm work, you know? Alright, let's go for like five of these. right there. It's a difficult one for me but I'm working on it. And now we're gonna go back to the First one we went with the left leg, now you're gonna go with the right leg. Most of the times I'm always doing L sit pull ups, you know. That's if it's tough on the core. Um for me, not quite. But that's how I've always been doing the pull ups since I've always started it. I was in a half L. So eventually it became a full L. back are going to hit the core just because of the position. 
So as I was saying, those two movements, the L sit and the tricep extension, it's going to hit the core. Let me explain um, what muscles are working in the three movements I decided to do. I will sit chin up. I'll be hitting your, your back, specifically your lats, and also your bicep because of that supination. And the core as well because of the L position. Tricep extension, that will go, that's going to hit your front delt, the triceps, of course. And the core, because the core gotta work to stabilize. Also, not falling over. And you see the iron cross. I'm using that to specifically target the side of my shoulder, lateral head. So that's the muscle groups we got working. So now I'm gonna go to a half L. And this one, I'm gonna switch to. I'm gonna go a little bit wider than close. times 90 let's say 7 percent of times that would be like my beginner level pull up on days where I'm not feeling you know in the mood to do some of the very very difficult stuff now we're back to the tricep extensions
now we're back to the seated iron cross. to have good straight arm strength. You know, you have bent arm strength, doing the pull up, straight arm strength, you know, holding your body in certain certain positions. This one now, I'm going to the full up. Type in the comment and let me know. In my opinion, I think it is. It's a 
experience, you know. Oh, yeah. You can never change your body weight, you know. That one weight, every, not every day, but... Right there can be really really tough so as I said beginners one arm at a time until you get strong enough to stretch it out there you know This one, I'm gonna have my hands on top of the bar. So let me show you from this one. So they were like this before, with the fingers like this. But now my thumb is gonna be open like this. The reason for that grip type, some days that helps me to really fly up on the bar really, really high. When my fingers on the bar, my thumb is on the bar, I can still go up as high, but not as high as I want to, you know? My goal is to fly off the bar. So, that's my thing. Get my grip right. Nice it.
my thing these past couple of months the morning workout but I feel like night time is really good on I feel This may sound weird, but <laughs> the longer I work out, the stronger. I don't know why. The longer I begin to work out, I feel a little bit, you know, a little rust. Not sound rusty, a little bit, you know. Until once that's shaken off, good to go. Grip. It's a little bit of narrow grip. 